manufacturer based in Dehradun produces two products and sells in two different markets. The retailer of both the shops wants to keep a record of the sales of the two products at the end of each week. How will the retailers maintain a record of the weekly sales? They may construct tables showing the sales every week for each product. Suppose for a month, the retailer in market 1 ends up with this table. The first row shows the units of product X sold in week 1 to week 4. The second row shows the units of product X sold in week 1. The second row shows the units of product Y sold in week 1 to week 4. Suppose the retailer in market 2 ends up with this table. So we have two tables for each market. At the end of the month, the manufacturer wants to find the total sales of each product every week in both the markets. He may visit the retailers and ask for the records and add the sales of each market at the end of each week. For example, the total sales of product 1 in both markets in week 1 is equal to 10 plus 5 equal to 15. Can you help the manufacturer to find the total sales for both the products for each week? Did you get that right? Unknowingly, you have actually performed a matrix addition. This whole process may be translated into mathematical language. Let us see how. Let us name the markets as M and N. Then, the weekly sales of the two products may be arranged in matrix form as shown. The rows represent the products X and Y and the columns represent the weeks of that particular month. Now matrix addition gives the first matrix plus the second matrix that is equal to the resultant matrix M plus N. This is the table that the manufacturer constructed to find the total weekly sales of product X and Y.